Today's video is by Barbara Streisand. It's called Crimea River. It's a beautiful video of a young girl signing her first contract. It's done in a very beautiful way. It's black and white and it sh just shows her in her element knowing that her voice got recognized and the excitement even in the still life photographs that are depicted in the video you just get that sense of something magical has just happened both for the record company for herself and for us the listeners and the worldwide global audience that absolutely adore this performer Crimea River I'm going to give you a different I'm going to approach this differently. I'm going to give you the meaning, the emotion of the song straight after you heard and have seen this beautiful video of Barbara Streisand. A bit of history about her. Then she sings Crimea River. And I'll finish the history with the meaning and the emotion of the song and the power of self you know, self reflection in it. But people often ask it's a cover song that has been done by. Natalie Cole and others other great artists have covered this song but I think this is really really special people have asked who wrote Crimea River and the song Crimea River was written by Arthur Hamilton an American songwriter and composer Hamilton wrote the song in 1953 and it was originally performed by Julie London what inspired the lyrics of Crimea River Arthur Hamilton wrote the lyrics of Crimea River as a response to the end of his own re relationship. The song reflects those emotions and experiences associated with heartbreak. Why is Barbara Streisand's version, as you're going to hear, of the song so popular? It gained popularity due to her incredible vocal range and emotional depth. Her interpretation brings a unique intensity, as you're going to hear and vulnerability to the song and it captured the hearts of listeners globally. Has Crimea River been covered by other artists? It's been covered by numerous artists across different genres. Notable renditions include those by Ella Fitzgerald, Michael Bublé and Justin Timberlake and as I've mentioned before Natalie Cole was my one of my greatest loves in life when it came to singing and, and a, such a, a great performer and when she sang Crimea River I thought I'll you know have that in my heart for years to come but I'm looking forward believe it or not I've seen some of this video but I haven't seen the bit where Barbara sings it I kept that as even a surprise to myself is Crimea River considered a jazz standard, is often asked. It's widely regard, regarded in the industry as a jazz standard. Its popularity within the jazz communi community and its enduring presence in musical repertoire solidify its status as a classic in the genre. Another question was Crimea River a commercial success? While Crimea River didn't achieve major commercial success upon its initial release it gradually gained recognition over the years and the song's popularity soared in the 60s cementing its status as an iconic piece of music what albums include Streisand's rendition of Crimea River people have asked Crimea River can be found on several of her albums including the second Barbara Streisand album and Barbara Jones Streisand they're just two examples has Streisand performed Crimea River live? Yes, indeed. On various occasions, her live performances of the song showcase her incredible vocal ability and connection with the audience. What makes Crimea River a timeless song? It stands the test of time due to its universal theme of heartbreak and the depth of emotions it evokes. Its timeless appeals lie in the lyrical beauty coupled with the outstanding vocal performances it has received from artists just like Barbara Streisand. Are there any other notable covers? Well notable covers include those by Diana Carell, Joe Crocker and Joe Bonamasper. Each artist adds their unique interpretation to the song making it their own. And has it been featured in any films or TV shows is the final question. 
Crimea River has been featured in several films, everyone, and TV shows over the years. Its inclusion in these productions further solidifies its status as an iconic song. Notable examples include its use in the film V for Vendetta and TV shows like Breaking Bad and Ali McBeal. But today, we hand it over to Barbara Streisand. Enjoy and come back but just a simple roundup about the meaning of Crimea River. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks. Sorry. Uh, on behalf of Columbia Records, I should like to welcome you here to the live recording session of Barbara Streisand. Streisand. Uh, Streisand. There's an awful lot that can be said about Barbara, but I think that it's superfluous because you're going to be hearing her for yourself. Uh, for me and for everyone at Columbia, she's a singular artist. Uh, you can't put her in any category. Uh, she's come full-blown on the theatrical scene. And we're honored tonight to be present at her first recording session for a Columbia album. May I introduce very proudly Miss Barbara Streisand. boyfriend's suit. <laughs> now you say you're lonely. You cry the long night through. Well, you can cry me a river, cry me a river. I cried a river over you. Now you say you're sorry for being so untrue. You can cry me a river, cry me a river. I cried a river over you. You drove me, nearly drove me out of my head. While you never shed a tear. you said told me love was too plebeian told me you were through with me now you say you love me well just to prove you do I cried a river over you You drove me, nearly drove me out of my head While you never shed a tear Remember, I remember all that you said Told me love was too plebeian Told me you were through with me You see? 
say you love me Well, just to prove that you do Absolutely phenomenal. And just up there on the screen, it comes up, Papa, can you hear me? One of the best cover versions of that is by Lara Fabian, another great vocalist from Belgium, who's now, I believe, living in Canada. And also, she is a phenomenal artist in her own right with her own songs. But she does a great version of Papa, can you hear me? But there's nothing quite like that. The original version is there by Barbara Streisand. Now let's go to what you've just heard. The lyrics of Cry Me A River by Barbara expresses the singer's feelings of betrayal and heartbreak in a past relationship. They confront their former lover's sincere, insincere apologies and expresses the pain they endured, encouraging the ex-partner to experience the same emotional turmoil they had to go through. The song captures that sense of empowerment and closure as the singer reflects on the hurt caused by the deceitful actions of their lover. And when it comes to the emotions, a few what years it means, ago, my grandma I'm sorry had about an this, act. When it comes to the emotion and what it means, this is it. As you've heard, Barbara Streisand's rendition of the hauntingly beautiful song has captivated audience for decades. Released in 1963, this timeless classic holds significant meaning and showcases Streisand's par powerful vocal prowess. Let's delve into those emotions and the story behind this iconic song. Cry Me a River is a song that portrays a raw emotion of heartbreak and aftermath of that failed relationship I mentioned. With its soulful mel melody and poignant lyrics, it delves into that pain and sorrow that often accompany the end of any love affair. Streisand's interpretation, as you've just heard and witnessed, adds depth, vulnerability to the song, making it a memorable, a memorable experience for listeners. The song's lyrics depict a person who is scorned and left behind by their lover. The phrase, cry me a river, is a metaphorical expression using the one who caused the pain to weep in regret. Dryden's powerful vocals beautifully convey the longing, bitterness, and release associated with heartbreak. And that creates in turn a connection with you, the listener, who have experienced similar emotions in your own life. Another layer of meaning lies in the power of self-reflection within the song, encouraging, encouraging introspection an acceptance of one's feelings. It serves as a reminder that heartbreak is a universal experience and by embracing it, one can find healing and growth. Her flawless execution of this song allows you, the listener, to have empathy with her vulnerability. And it does make it an al album for self-discovery and personal strength. Through her interpretation, she brings out the resilience and determination needed to move forward after an enduring heartbreak. And that, everybody, was Barbara Streisand in Cry Me A River. I hope you've enjoyed the bio, the song, and the summary. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you wish, jump on board. There'll be more Barbara throughout the year. And subscribe.